Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am doing a get to know me tag. Um, I think I kind of did one of these videos a few years ago, but I mean, <laughs> why not redo it? Um, if I did do a video like this or similar to this, I will leave that link down below or leave a card up here somewhere. But um, yeah, so Lego, let's get it, okay? All right, so I have some questions here on my phone so we're gonna go ahead and start all right first question it says what is your middle name my middle name is Nicole I think that is a very popular middle name for girls I think Nicole is a very popular middle name so that is my middle name and I'm named after my aunt on my dad's side what is your favorite color? I actually have a few favorite colors. My favorite color as a child was pink. Um, now that I'm an adult, I like gold, white, white slash creams, browns. Um, I wear a lot of black, as you may see. But um, yeah, so pink, gold, cream, brown, and black. Love those colors. Um, who was your best friend? So growing up, I had a few best friends. Um, I did a video on my best friend when I was like in third grade. Brittany, um, she was my best friend in third grade. Um, my cousin Catrice was my best friend in fifth grade. Fifth, all the way, you know, me and her, we're still cool to this day. My cousin Asha, we've been childhood best friends since we were born. Um, when I first moved here to Georgia, my best friend was Laurie. I love her to death. Um, then Jasmine, we're still good friends. You know, love her. And then my best friend that I actually see on a day-to-day -day basis is Kanisha, which I call her boo-boo. That is my honey bun. All those ladies are still really good friends to me, and I love them so much. The only one that I have not actually talked to or heard from was Britney and if you would like I will leave that video down below it's a whole nother video on Britney if you would like to see that video so I will leave that down below um as well it says how tall are you I think I am five six and a half five seven um from my last doctor's visit so yeah would I prefer a cat or a dog I would prefer a dog, but I want a little small dog that don't grow. So, yeah, I don't like big dogs. I don't like other people dogs because uh, I, I just don't do that. <laughs> I don't do well with people, other people pets. Um, it says, are you in or have you gone to college? I have to some college courses at our college um, down here. I took those courses from the time I graduated all the way up until I think Jaden was two. So, yeah, I do need to go back to school. Of course, I know that, but, um, yeah. <laughs> it says, what was your favorite slash worst subject in high school? My favorite subject in high school was, I don't think people actually have favorite subjects. Like, I I had a worst subject. The worst subject I ever had was like um history. Like not like I failed that part of my graduation test the first time. So of course I'm gonna just say that that is terrible. I don't do well with and it wasn't like I don't know, it was like that type of history. It goes way back from ninth grade history all the way up until you got to take graduation tests and I was just over that. I was not with it at all. So, yeah, I don't have a favorite subject. When I was in elementary school, I used to love math. But by the time you get to middle and high school, change your mind. <laughs> um, my favorite um, perfume, um, I actually love Daisy by Marc Jacobs. I love that perfume. My mom had that perfume, and I swear I sprayed her perfume every day because I couldn't afford it. I didn't have no money. I ain't had no job. <laughs> so, yeah, that is my favorite perfume. And body sprays would be like Victoria's Secret Love Spell and the amber one that Victoria's Secret got as well. Those are my go-to body sprays. It said, would I prefer tea or coffee? I drink both, but if I had to pick one, I would prefer tea. 
Um, it said, what sports do you or have played in your lifetime? I used to run track. I played soccer. So, you know, that's what I was into. Um, it said, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Some of my favorite YouTubers, hands down, the first one has to be Dosa Candy. Um, the reason why I say that, she was one of the first YouTubers I ever watched and fell in love with the whole filming YouTube videos and stuff. She was on YouTube for about probably three years by the time I, you know, wanted to start filming. Um, I'll say Carly Bible. Nicole Guerrero. I feel like you cannot have Carly Bible and Nicole Guerrero not listed together. You know, they're besties as well. So, I mean, they do YouTube together, you know. So, I feel like you cannot mention one and not mention the other. Um, I like the Glam Twins. Those are my girls and we're all from Alabama. Um, Anitra B. I love her. She's from Alabama as well. Um... Who else do I watch? Like, I'm trying to think of YouTube. Oh, Makeup Shayla. Love her. Like, those people I watch on a day-to-day. -day, like, I'd be so excited to see their new videos. And, um, yeah, I can't really think of nobody else. I know I watch a lot of YouTubers, but those are my top, my top YouTubers. I don't know if it's five, six that I listed. I don't know. So, yeah, those are my top ones. It says, what is your favorite movie? My favorite movie would definitely be Tina Turner's What's Love Got to Do With It. I love that movie so much. Um, That's one of my top movies that I love. It says, are you single or taken? And currently, I am in a relationship. I've been in a relationship for... A few months now it's very new fresh or whatever so yeah it's very dear to my heart don't really speak about it that often because I keep my relationship private okay okay all right we're there okay <laughs> it's just that I learned a lot with keeping your relationship private your relationship will more so have a better chance of surviving okay I keep my relationship private from the general public, but we're always together. We have fun together. We make time for our relationship. We take pictures together. We just don't post them. We are always on the phone talking, and it's a good, healthy relationship. So, yeah. Yes. Do you have any siblings? I have a few. <laughs> Biological. I have friends that became family. I have a few siblings, like... A few. It says, what's your favorite restaurant? I love Olive Garden Carabas. Those will be my top two restaurants Um, because I love Italian, even though it's like Americanized Italian food. I love Italian. I love pasta. Um, Another restaurant I like is Applebee's. I like Applebee's because it's very inexpensive and it still tastes good. So, yeah. It said, what are your fa some of your favorite TV shows? I love the Kardashians. I know it's like such a cliche. A lot of people don't like the Kardashians. But I've been watching them since the first season. And I just feel like I'm a part of the family when I watch that show. Um, Another show that I like. I love Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I know it's a little ratchet, but that's my ratchet TV. I love Black Ink Crew. Both cities, New York and Chicago. I like a lot of reality TV shows, I guess. Yep. And one show that I'm very excited to start watching is um, Tayana and Iman. Like, I, I can't wait for that show to start. Oh, yeah. I love the new season of Braxton Family Values just started. Love the Braxtons. So, yeah. It says, what kind of phone do you have? Currently, you have the Samsung Galaxy 7 Edge um, phone. It's an Android um, my boyfriend has convinced me into getting an iPhone, so I should be getting an iPhone soon. I'm going to wait until my contract is up because I have two lines that I need to disconnect. And then I'm going to um, upgrade my phone, lower my plan, all that good stuff because, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all that good stuff. So I will be team iPhone in a few months. So I'm kind of nervous about that because I don't, I don't, you know, 
I don't know nothing about Apple. <laughs> I've always been team Android, so yeah. All right, guys, so we just got a few more questions. So it says, what is something that you are talented at? And I would like to think that I'm very talented with doing my own makeup. I was self-taught, so I'm very proud of that. So yeah, it says, um, the number of kids that I want, um, I already have one now and then it's, so I probably say probably since I had Jaden Young, I would want my next kids, which is going to be like in my thirties to at least be like two more. My mom had three kids, you know, so I would say three it just depends, I guess. You know, they're going to have an age gap against with Jaden, but hopefully, you know, probably three, maybe four. I don't know. Like, no more than probably like four, but, you know, Jaden's older, so it's like I have only three kids in the house at the time. I don't know, because I kind of want twins, so no more than four. Let's just say no more than four. Three, four is we're pushing it like we didn't push it it's no more beyond four and three we're right there like you might not get another kid out of me we're gonna say that my future goals i would say my future goals is to become like i want to have my own business a clothing and a beauty line i want to ultimately buy or build a house i don't know how many times i can say that i feel like if you keep saying it and you work hard towards your goal that you can speak it into existence god will bless you and you will be able to you know flourish off of that so i try to keep a positive mindset remember what i'm working towards and who i'm working so hard for which is my son and my family so and i want to make sure that we're good and secure by that time you know and I also want a side um, restaurant business. I know it's crazy. I love to cook. And um, my boyfriend actually wants to be a business owner as well. He likes food. So, of course, he feels like we should go into business with some type of restaurant. But, like, I always thought about having a small restaurant, like a home cook type of um, restaurant. But, like, now that I'm living a more clean lifestyle so i just want to have more options so yeah that would be one of the things that i look forward to or look try to look more into so those few things is what i'm really trying to build for my future you know and become a successful business woman at the end of the day money moves money moves okay it says someone that i miss I miss my grandparents on my maternal side. My Nana and my granddad, they are my heart. I miss them so much. They passed away in 2008, and I just love and miss them so much. Um, they practically raised me and my brother and sisters. So it's like, it's still hard at times because you want the people to see you doing well, like, see and be proud of you. So, yeah. And we're just going to do this last question. Um, I guess it says an embarrassing moment. Okay, let me tell you. When I first moved here in Georgia from Alabama, it was like we went to this Chinese restaurant with my mom and my dad. I went to the Chinese restaurant with my mom and dad. My sister and my brothers, they went on base to go to the water park. I didn't go to the water park because, you know, I was on my monthly time. So we're sitting here at this restaurant and I'm over here ordering a drink, Sprite. I see this guy, he comes in, he was so cute, right? So I'm like looking at him, thinking I'm drinking out my cup. And when I tell you, I like miss my whole mouth or whatever, looking at this guy, just being one of those girls, looking at this guy, spilled the whole drink in my lap. So embarrassing because I was right in front of my dad and my mom. My mom thought it was hilarious. I was so embarrassed so embarrassing but it was in the middle of summer so when school finally started come to find out the same guy go to the school as i do it was in middle school at the time i was moved down here when i was going to the eighth grade so we ended up seeing each other crazy right so crazy so crazy but we didn't talk then we ended up talking 
a few years later once we got to high school but it, and i told him this story he thought it was hilarious and um yeah so i think that was one of the most embarrassing times that i actually you know had very very embarrassed so um all right guys so i hope you enjoyed this video it was kind of fun to do another video like this like i said i think i already filmed one like this so i think these were some new questions um so yeah so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please leave me some comments down below if you have any questions you would like to ask me yourself and i'll respond back please leave those comments down below um until next time guys i love you and i'll see you in my next video Peace.